you doing? All you doing? And welcome to my next show. Well, in this one, I'm going to be talking about Disney stuff. Actually, I'm going to be talking about Disney stuff for like probably, probably like the next two or three. But in this one, I, I'm only going to talk about one, and that is Xenon the Sequel. Um, a lot of you might have grown up with uh, uh, Kirsten Storms being Xenon Carr. And uh, we'll, I'll remember when this used to air on the Disney Channel. Uh, some of you might not even know what this is at all. But in either case, at least you're going to have a fun time uh, looking at, at the wardrobe. Now, I own uh, most of the wardrobe. I think there's only like uh, three outfits that I actually don't have. Um, but... Uh, oh, and also, please excuse the quality of the video that you're going to see. Xenon the Sequel does not come in DVD form. I only have it on VHS. So I did the best that I could. So please, this is her very first outfit, which is, uh, it's what I call her peach outfit. And uh, this is shown at the very beginning when she gets dumped by her boyfriend and all that. So it's only used in that one scene. And uh, uh, the uh, person that made all of the wardrobe is Mona May. And she actually does a lot. And she did a very good job with all of this uh, wardrobe here. And most of this is a combination between store-bought clothing and then her adding on her own flair. And in some cases, completely, totally done from scratch. And I'll let you know about those. So. Okay, and the next one that we are uh, seeing here, this is the second most worn piece of wardrobe that she wore. Um, if you actually watch the movie, uh, you, you will see that she wears this particular piece for quite a long time, uh, almost uh, 20 or so minutes. Um, anyway, this one... Uh, is a bodysuit. So uh, a bodysuit is completely hand done. And, and as a matter of fact, this entire piece is actually hand done. There is no um, uh, store bought clothing on th this particular piece. And there's the back and there's the front. And uh, well, we'll go to where that uh, viewed now. Let's go. Much. But I still have to maintain my authority around here in Xenon. You emptied out my entire office. And I lost my favorite shoe. I said I was sorry, Major! I heard you. Commander, I didn't mean any harm. Tell that to my desk. Commander, I really did not yes, mean yes, all the sorry. furniture in your office. Yes, I'm sure you did. I seriously I heard thought you first it was time. just a video game. Nevertheless, I firmly believe that the discipline of working down here in the alien control lab will be good for you. Okay. Uh, on our next outfit, which is my second favorite outfit, and this one is her Starkazi uh, outfit, and the only piece here that is actually store brand is this uh, jacket piece here, which is um, which was actually altered. It was actually shortened. And a few things were actually added on it, but this is an actual brand name jacket. And then we have a jumper, um, well, more like a bodysuit, um, star piece here. And then we have her shorts, has this little silver thing. And then we have her uh, spandex uh, pants. And this one was used when uh, talking to uh, Plank and um, trying to convince everybody, you know, about the aliens and, all, and that kind of stuff. So, um, uh, let's go to that scene now. I can't even win a solar solitaire anymore. I wish I had never been sent to that stupid AP lab in the first place. Okay, and uh, this is like my third favorite one. I really do, well, actually, I, I, I like them all. But uh, the next three are actually my favorite ones because they were 
either use the most or in this case this one's just really unique what we have here is we have this kind of tank top with these uh, uh, shoulder wings you now these little pink uh, shoulder wings and uh, we've got a, a type of um, a suit which is more like a bathing suit like with a collar um, as you can see it comes down there this skirt actually is the only thing that is actually a store-bought branding uh, everything else is entirely hand done and then I've got the the um, uh, bracelet cup you know um, gauntlets Gauntlets of pink is what I kind of call them. I mean, they're very, they're very pink, but very creatively uh, made. I do have to say. And this outfit is actually on the front cover of the movie, but is used in the cafeteria scene when uh, uh, she walks in and uh, her friends are. Well, you know the scene. Let's go to it now. Can't believe you guys have never seen one of these. Isn't it fabulous? Come here, come here. You've got to see this. It doesn't exist or anything. It's wired into a totally unlimited catalog of moves to get up to by hitting a button. It even has Romeo and Juliet on Mars. Okay, well, this is my absolute favorite outfit. And this is her. Earth Kazi, this is her hero one. Now, even the tag says Earth Kazi Hero. And it even says, is, is written hero actually on the inside of the uh, jumpsuit. And this is 100% totally handmade. And this one is used in, the, in completely the last half of the entire film. So this is the number one worn outfit of the entire film. Uh, well, let's go to that scene now. There's a practice. come to our last piece which is um, probably the one piece that probably took the most time this is her wedding cousin this one was the one that was used at the very end of the film and this one is all complete with the exception of the shoes now on this one uh, this dress is actually a a brand name dress but they went in and they actually sewed on all of these little tiny sparklies that that you can see and I've got the the Alice band and I've got the three uh, uh, hair uh, diamonds and the cuffs and including the necklace with a hologram out all alone wrapped up in my fear only you can see right through and make it seem so clear I'm firing over roaring over blasting into space a blazing comet smiles upon it you're still in the nebulous face you wake me up shake me much to know so far to go the galaxy is ours the galaxy is ours my girl the galaxy is ours galaxy is ours galaxy is ours see you at uh, the next part see you later